We hear the term burnout being talked a lot about today, and for anyone who has experienced it themselves, they probably know that it's a really difficult thing to be in, to go through, and to recover from, and that takes quite a bit of time. In this video, I'm going to share some of the warning signs that you may be on that road to burnout. These are from my own experiences, and I hope they can be helpful for you to just keep in mind and take note of in case you find yourself experiencing these and potentially ending up towards that burnout. The first one is a lack of purpose. Losing your sense of purpose is a huge indicator that you might be on the wrong path and that by continuing doing what you're doing, it's not going to end up getting better for you. Now, not everything we do is going to save the world, so don't think of this necessarily in terms of impact and that kind of being tied to purpose, but if the bigger picture is missing for you and you feel like nothing you do is actually leading you to something that you want to see in the world or you want to be or you want to have that sort of purpose. You know what I'm talking about. If nothing is tying to the greater picture, then... If you feel like nothing that you're doing is tying into that bigger picture that you have, and you don't feel like your life has that sense of purpose, then this is a big indicator that you might end up on that road to burnout. Supervisor on duty today is Max. Max, this is a very serious video. Another sign that you may be headed towards burnout is if you feel deflated. If you feel like a balloon that's leaking air, then that's probably not a good thing. This sort of feeling could be caused by a lack of reward or lack of acknowledgement for all of the work that you're doing, and that doesn't mean medals and trophies, that doesn't mean, you know, getting recognized on stage for what you're doing, but even just the simple ability to be able to see that you're making progress in something can really help to stave off this feeling of deflation. If instead you feel like you're just running on a treadmill, not getting anywhere, not doing anything helpful or useful towards your purpose or your bigger picture, then you may end up feeling this deflation idea. This is the only way I can think of to describe it, but again, like a balloon that's just leaking air. And that may be a sign that what you're doing is not necessarily the best thing for you. Another sign is this idea of needing to please. So it's of course a good thing to try and be helpful and trying to be kind and not create all this drama, but again, if you're trying to just make people happy with what you're doing, and especially if you're seeking some sort of validation or you feel very insecure about your choice of what you're doing or things like that, it may be time to reassess and make sure that this is something that you want to do and that it is in your best interest and not just something that you're doing for someone else. When you end up doing everything for everyone else and realize that you're kind of on the wrong path yourself, then that can be a real trigger of burnout because you end up sort of losing your sense of identity and almost might resent other people for sort of causing you this difficult situation. Another thing to pay attention to is a lack of interest. Now, not everything that you're going to do in your professional life is going to be super invigorating and exciting, but there should be at least some level of interest in what you're working on. If you are doing something that you care nothing about, it's a lot harder to be resilient, a lot harder to get through some of the challenges that you might face that might come up versus when you're interested in what you're doing, there's a better reason for you to keep kind of working through those things and bounce back. So if you're finding that you're absolutely disinterested and care nothing about what you're doing, then that could be a red flag that you might want to rethink things. The next one is having no sense of urgency. Now this one can be a little bit difficult to explain if you've never felt this sense of urgency before, but basically what I mean is having some sort of like excitement or really feeling like you want to get started on working on things, maybe waking up with sort of a sense of purpose and wanting to get moving on that, versus having no sense of urgency would look like apathy, complete lack of motivation, all sorts of procrastination and excuses, and basically kind of going along with the lack of interest, but in this case, it's really about trying to make progress and move forward on what you're doing. Of course, the caveat with this one is to not let it get to an unhealthy level and to still be able to maintain balance and everything, but having some sense of urgency and some sort of push and drive to actually work on what you're doing is a great indicator of being on the right path versus not having that can be a sign that you might end up burning out because what you're doing is just really forced. And kind of on that note, let's go to the last sign, which is feeling tortured. Now, of course, it's good to get outside our comfort zones, to try new things, to grow, and that may come with a little bit of discomfort because we're 
getting into new territory, we're trying new things. In order to grow, we have to challenge ourselves, right? But when you start getting into feeling really uncomfortable, feeling like you're forcing yourself to do something against your own will, um, and when you're feeling just tortured, by what you're doing, then that can very easily lead to burnout. Now this may seem extreme and like I'm talking about some sort of ridiculous scenarios, but even just simple things can lead to this, especially if it's something that really conflicts with who you are, if it's going against your identity, your authenticity, your really just natural personality and things like that, even just simple things can end up being in this category. Now an example of this for me was when I started making YouTube videos. Um, one of my many attempts to start a channel, I was actually doing these sort of like sitcom style acting video sort of things about like different conversations in my mind and all this and it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm not an actress. I was very uncomfortable doing this. I never looked forward to it. I It took forever to edit them and I it was just not for me. I just felt so tortured. I hated it. The only part I liked about it was writing the scripts and getting the ideas out. but. It was completely not for me and just that style of like trying to act and trying to do all of that it just it was the wrong thing for me and i did burn out from that so it wasn't as extreme as some of the other burnouts and things but it felt like torture again that's a really extreme word to use but just that idea if you've ever felt that that whatever you're working on is just so against your nature then it's really time to reassess and to figure out if that's something that's going to help you grow as a challenge, as a little bit of stepping outside your comfort zone, or if it's just something that's taking you in the wrong direction. I hope through sharing my experiences with you in this video, it was helpful for you to maybe start to think about these things, recognize certain signs in your life, and hopefully steer yourself away from burnout if that's something that comes up for you. Now, of course, everyone's different, and for you, you might have different little signs and things that you've noticed either through your own experience with burnout or in seeing someone else go through this and if you're willing to share those in the comments that would probably be very helpful for not only myself but other people that are either experiencing this or trying to avoid it. We're all different so by sharing our experiences we can kind of support each other better and see what works best for each of us. I look forward to reading about your experiences as well and I hope this video finds you not in a state of burnout, but early enough where you can prevent that and move forward and really help redirect your life in a positive direction. So I'm wishing you the best and I will see you in the next one.